Do you, Mrs. Corbett, remember the first time your husband came home with the idea of running for a public office? Well, that I, would be the story right there. Yeah, yeah. there you there you just hit the nail on the head. Um, I re- I remember, but he didn't come home and talk to me. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I was, learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, having my teeth cleaned at the dentist, who is my brother-in-law, and um, and he said something about Tom's petition for township commissioner. And I said, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and he goes, oh, yeah, one of my patients mentioned Tom's you know, running for township commissioner. She signed his petition. And I said, oh, that was the first I heard of it. So, um, And at the time, uh, we had two young children. He had a really busy job and, and uh, very limited personal time. He was in the National Guard and and that took up uh, weekends. So um, I was a little miffed. I thought, you know, this was um, something that we should have discussed. It was important enough that, um, you know, I should have uh, at least had a say in what was going to happen. Now, I knew he was always interested in politics. He comes from a family that has always been involved in public service. So um, it didn't surprise me that he would do it, but it surprised me that he didn't talk to me. So when he came home from work that night, um, you know, I was loaded for bear by that point. And <laughs> so I confronted him at the door. And um, being Irish, he uh, responded by taking out his petition. My and temper got the best. Of ripping it up into little shreds and throwing it all over the floor of the room. Wow, really? And uh, we had this, you know, very escalated conversation got louder as it went on um but when he when he threw the peti- when he tore up the petition and he threw it on the floor then we both are like okay like let's calm down let's talk about this and so we we sat down and he um explained to me why he was wanted to do this and his story was he was going to you know, circulate the petition. He still hadn't made up his mind because he was going to talk to me first. Right? N- nice try. Yeah. And, and, nice and, try. But, but, and everybody told me I had no chance of winning. Yeah. <laughs> because Be- there's two term incumbent and two to one registration edge against me. Yeah. So it was a long shot in his mind, but he thought he would give it a shot. But anyway, we sat on the couch. We talked about it, um, why he wanted to do this. And I can't remember exactly what he said, but I remember thinking that. Uh, this is the type of person that should be in public service, and this is the type of person that I would want to represent me or or um, uh, would be in an office that would, would be involved in government, and I would vote for him. So... So I said, okay, and we got a, uh, we had a bottle of wine and some scotch tape, and we sat on the floor and pieced together the petition. And, uh, you know, he, she likes jigsaw uh, puzzles. Uh, well, I was going to ask, is a scotch taped petition still legal? <laughs> must have wor- must I, have worked. I don't know yeah. if he filed it, but um, I had other petitions. Uh, today. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Uh, so that's how it started. So we what? So ran go, for township commissioner, so, and so, I said, as long as we have a, a separate phone line, so I don't have to answer calls yeah. about potholes, and you know, then I'm okay. So what did you learn? Ask first. <laughs> <laughs> so that when I ran for attorney general, I came and talked to her first about running for attorney general. Very good. Yeah, you know, I'd good. been attorney general as the appointment in, in um, the nineties. Sure. In the nineties, right? Yeah. And I said he should go for it because, um, you know, having seen him in the office of attorney general, um, how hard he worked, what he was able to accomplish in just 15 months. And and from a spouse's perspective, um, he's happiest when he's um, in public service. He's doing it for the right reason. It's mm-hmm. not a ego or a power thing. Um, it's He's just someone who wants to make a difference. And I think that there are um, a number of people in public service that are there for that reason, and those are the kind of people that you want to to elect.